Well, hello there. Welcome back to another Tower Fantasy video. Um, this video is going to be more of an off-the-cuff video. Um, I didn't expect myself to be making this video right now because um, it's part of like preparing for a Fiona release. And admittedly, I'm a bit busy right now, but it seems that uh, Fiona has been projected to release a bit earlier than I, I, I thought. Um, I thought that she was going to be released during maybe May, even um, late May, early June, right? If we um, if we if we take Lawn and we take Icarus to be three weeks, um, like Lawn three weeks and then Icarus um, after Lawn three weeks, um, then. Uh, assume that you know Fiona would be out again around May June, um, but she's actually releasing um, late April. Um, they're really accelerating the banners, uh, the the weapon banners. Um, like Lon isn't even over yet, and then they release Icarus, and Icarus gets released, and then shortly after we're getting the Fiona release. Um, so very odd because um, you know they're, they're talking about slowing down. The progress in global so that players can have time to enjoy the new content but they're rushing the crap it seems out of the uh, weapon banners um actually let's see if uh, lawn is still out can I still get lawn oh no I can't oh misinformation I just spread some misinformation lawn is actually gone oh okay so um I could have swore that Icarus jog while lawn is still active well well, nevertheless, um, still, it seems definitely seems a little bit accelerated. Why is my dash seem so weird? Wait a minute. Usually, when I dash in air, well, you see that before when I dash with um, Fenrir's Air Pods Pro, it doesn't like pause midair. Huh, I don't know. Anyways, maybe it's because I'm playing 60 frames per second. I normally don't play 50, 60 frames per second, so it feels a bit different. Um, and of course I'm doing fun zone. This fun zone will get another episode on its own. Another preparation for Fiona. But this episode I want to talk about um what okay, well Fiona's coming out next week. And I said that um before Fiona gets released, I need to make a video um talking and, and like um getting upgrade weapons. Because how this game works is um with the standard with the standard um weapons you have to or you can get them maxed out and if you have a maxed out standard weapon then when you roll that standard weapon on the event banners um, you'll, you'll get a bunch of uh, extra flame gold in which this extra fl flame gold you can exchange for the weapon which saves you um, you know a decent amount of rolls um, it, it, so it's weird because like it technically saves you rolls um, but at the same time you're, um, it, sa it saves, so it's weird because it saves rolls because you have more flame gold, which means, um, and you, you know, you get flame gold per roll. So technically, you know, you save rolls because like, okay, um, you know, I can buy the weapon for, for less flame gold because I get more from getting extra standard character or get, getting extra like max standard weapons. Um, so you're saving flame gold in that case, because you, you you technically roll less. Um, but that being said, though you're rolling less, which means you're building less pity, right? So that's kind of like the the, the weird thing about it, because you, you technically, again, you are saving um, dark crystals and currency in rolls, but at the same time, you're also being less on your pity, um, less on your pity. Um, Wait, now I have to stall two minutes before I can actually do what I need to do. But yeah, anyways, um, so that's a bit, hopefully that made sense. But anyways, what's important is that, again, like I said, the week before Fiona releases, I need to start buying the weapons, like buying them with um, black gold. Because if I buy them with black gold, then I need to max out a few standard weapons. And then the more I max out, the, the better my rolls are for Fiona. Hopefully, that's... Um, how it's gonna work. Oh, that's some terrible sequencing right there. Uh, I don't think I would, there's a, there's a good chance I might actually not complete this. Um, but yeah, I have currently, I have three weapons max. I have Meryl, 
Shiro, and um, Samir maxed out. Those are my three weapons I have maxed out. Uh, which I'll, I'll show I'll show later after I'm done with this. Um, and so I have six standard weapons that are not maxed. So I'm definitely am planning on maxing those weapons. Um, or like I want to max out all of them, but I can't max out six of them. Um, <clears throat> or I can't max out six more out of the the nine um, total. Um, so I have three max, and I think <clears throat> before Fiona releases, I can get three more weapons max. Um, and uh, I'll show you guys what I mean after I'm done with this, right? So yeah, I can max out three more weapons, which means um, like there's like a 66% chance that if I roll a five star, if I roll a standard five star, if I, like if I miss the Fiona and I roll a standard five star, um, there's like a 66% chance that it will turn into 10 flame gold, which is obviously, I, I mentioned this last video, obviously you don't want, <laughs> you don't want to roll any standard characters, you want to roll the flame gold, or you don't want to roll any standard characters, you just want to roll the event character. Um, but getting the flame gold is, is better than nothing. Again, it technically saves you rolls, saves about 9 rolls, but then again, your pity is not building, so... Are you really saving rolls? <laughs> you are saving rolls. You are saving rolls. That's how the that's how the math works. Um, so yeah, again, and also you can't buy um, weapons. You can only buy two max, which means that um, I have to do it right now. If you know what I mean. Okay. So what am I talking about? So see, you can only buy two weekly, and um. You can see here that these are the three weapons I'm planning to max out. So I'm planning to max out Humor Shield. I got two of them last time I was rolling. I rolled out all my gold nucleus. I got two of the, her. And then I got one more from Black Gold recently. And in Coco, I'm pretty close. And in King, I'm pretty close. But not close enough. You see, if I would have waited until next week, um, I could have only bought in two crows. And if I buy two crows, then that means that um, I can't max out crow next week. So I have to plan ahead and um, try to max them out this week. Um, but then technically, I don't even need to like buy the other weapons, right? I can like just buy one king um, and then save the rest of my currency because there's no way I'm going to max out more than these weapons. Like these other weapons, um, Zero Subasa and uh, Crow are all at uh, three copies, which means I need four more copies to max them out. Which means like there's no way I'm gonna max them out. So, but I, I am gonna plan out maxing out th three weapons. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I'm buying one King. That's or buying one Crow. I should say. I get King and Crow mixed up all the time. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to do this video. But I mean, you know. <laughs> And then next week, again, Fiona is going to be released in one more week. Next week, I'm going to buy my one copy of Huma, two copies of um, Coco, and two copies of Crow. And then, and then we just roll. And then we just roll on the event banner. Um, and then, yeah, we're done with that. So that's basically, like, the only thing I want to talk about when it comes to preparing for Fiona. But, you know, just to add more to this video. Um, because last time I talked about like other stuff, I think this episode I do want to talk about other stuff, and that is um, weapon upgrades and uh, spending vitality. So this game is not called stamina because stamina is the bar, it's that bar that goes down when you're like doing combat and stuff. Um, but vitality is this stuff, which is the um. Which is like the stamina, like it charges every eight minutes, exactly like like Genshin Impact. But you have a cap of 360 now, which is amazing. I love how they, uh, uh, I really enjoy how they increase the cap. I mean, they increased it way too late, but at least they increased it. At least we finally got it global, which we should have got it like a few patches ago. But um, that's a complaint for another episode. So for for vitality, the only thing you can spend it on is 
joint operations, which is good for um, equipment and matrices. Um, what else can you spend on? You can spend on weapon upgrades. So, a weapon, uh, like increasing the level cap of the weapon. You can also increase the XP of the weapon. You also get it here. You can also increase your matrix levels. I did play a lot of these before, not anymore, but I used to do a lot of matrix drills. And then you can also form gold. I've literally never been low on gold before, so I don't know. Maybe if you are, maybe if you upgrade a lot of stuff, I, if you upgrade a lot of matrices, I can see how you might be low on gold. Um, but generally speaking, if you're like a light spender or free to play, you probably don't have that many matrices to upgrade anyways. And if you're paid, and if you're a pay to win, then you probably have a lot of gold just laying around because you have you're buying a lot of stuff, right? And an interstellar ex exploration, which are the gates, right? And as far as I can tell, those are like the only ways you can really spend vitality, right? Is there other ways you can spend vitality? So most people probably spend their vitality in joint operations for for probably one main reason in the early game and in late game probably another reason. So early game you want to farm for equipment, right? You just want to farm for equipment, roll them high in attack, depending on like what, what you're maining, right? If you're a whale, you're probably maining everything. So you have to get equipment for everything. But if you're a life spender or free to play, you're probably only maining one or two elements. So you just need an equipment set that's really good for those two elements. Obviously, as a free to player life spender, you should try to aim for everything, like equip an equipment set that's bespoke for physical, um, an equipment set that's bespoke for lightning. So you see here, there's my volt attack. This is my volt set. And then this third one is my physical set. Um, and then my fourth set is my flame set. I think. I mean, ignore the volt attack being high in flame. Uh, it's, this is my flame set, <laughs> and then it's because I have um, it's because I have this weapon, uh, Venus. Oh, I guess I guess Glepnir as well. They both have of uh, elemental resonance, so I get extra volt damage. But this is my uh frost set. Again, ignore how my volt damage is almost as high as my frost damage. But yeah, my art, my equipment set suck. Um, I don't really have that much good equipment. Um, and I'll get to that. Um, but also there is you, you farm for matrices. So the older ones, or I should say the newer ones, are really good for farming equipment because you get a higher chance of getting the equipment of the element um, that you want. Um, there's a higher chance, not guaranteed, but it's better than nothing. So like, you know, if you're Volt main, then you definitely are farming end game and proof in pursuit of fate. Um. But then also, like, if you have your equipment, like, people have been farming equipment since the beginning of the game. Like, those who farm equipment for a long time, their equipment is probably at the point where they're comfortable. Like, they have enough attack, they have enough crit on their boots and, and um, gloves. And so, they, and at that point, if you're, like, like, your equipment is, like, super good, then you can farm, like, the older joint operations. And you, and you farm for the matrixes. Um, the matrix rates are super low. But I've gotten matrices before. Like it's, it's definitely like not like incredibly, extremely rare. Like you can get them, and so this is a great way of farming matrices, like low key. Um, and I think it's as a one thing that's really good about Tower Fantasy. Um, as much as I poop on this game, and I will poop on this, I will continue pooping on this game. Uh, one of the best things about this game is that you can farm matrices, which is amazing. Imagine Genshin Impact if you can farm five star weapons. Like <laughs> imagine, right? Um, but that's very cool. Um, but that's not what I've been doing. My my entire time playing Tower of Fantasy, I don't really farm that much equipment. Um, I mean, you've seen it. I mean, you've literally seen my inventory. Um, I farm weapon mats. I farm weapon mats. That's like my main thing I farm. I don't farm equipment. And like, if you see here, like 21,000, almost 22,000 volt attack is terrible right it's genuinely terrible because here look at this look at my vera gear so i can say vera gear and asperia, asperia gear asperia gear is going to be like the first eight that were introduced in the game right your helmet 
your your spalders, your your gloves, your your, your chest plane, all that stuff. And then Vera gear is what I consider what was released after um, Vera. So like your tactical eyepiece, your combat engine, your exoskeleton, and your your micro reactor, right? Look at my Vera gear. My Vera gear is actually pretty good, right? Like this um eyepiece. I landed on HP once, all right, that's a bit unlucky, but then I landed on Volt Attack twice and Crit Rate twice. Like, that's pretty nasty, right? So this is great for Volt damage. Um, generally speaking, you'd probably want it more Crit, like lean towards more Crit. Um, and obviously it's not perfect because I, I got one hit into HP. But then you see my combat engine is perfect, right? Um, wait, actually, I th may have hit... Um, Frost resist once. I think it may have hit it once. But at this case, like it is as good as it gets. Again, like that eyepiece, I missed one substat roll. And then my combat ended, I think I may have missed one substat roll. But like look at that wall attack. 2.7% extra and then 640 um 34 is pretty darn good. Yeah, I, I did hit as you see here. Normally it's 215. And then my exoskeleton. Um Okay, I don't have a good exoskeleton now I'm looking at it. But this is good against Gaia, alright? Oh, I need... Huh. Maybe I need to work on exoskeleton. Anyways. Micro reactor. Perfect. Look at this, alright? Would you believe your eyes? Open your eyes and look right here. Well, I'm not, not trying to be condescending, but... Literally hit volt damage boost five times. Boom. All of the hits into volt damage. So, like, my Vera gear... I mean, besides my micro reactor. Or, besides my exoskeleton. Like, it's pretty good. Like sure one hit, you know, it's not perfect, but like I mean a micro reactor is perfect. I also have another micro reactor that hit um all times an attack and volt attack. Right? This is almost this is over a thousand attack for attack and volt attack. Um so technically I hit like there was no bad hits on this, but um anyways, and you see my Vera gear is like pretty decent besides an exoskeleton. But then my other stuff, look at this helmet. Like Usually what you want, I think like the max amount of attack you can get is like 12,000. This helmet is like s over 700 volt attack, which is terrible, okay? You want like at least 1,000. Look at these, look at these spalders. Like not even 800 volt attack. Again, not good because you want um, 1,000. Look at these gloves. By the way, these gloves I got at like the very, when I f first started playing these games, this, or this is like one of the first things I upgraded. Um... So I haven't gotten an upgrade for, for this since. Only 30,000 crit is okay, but it's not good. Because at this point, you kind of want... I should be having 4,000, 5,000 crit. Because um, I've been playing this game since day one. Technically, I've been playing this game since day three. But I mean, you know, essentially day one. Look at these bracers. This bracer has 350 volt attack. It's terrible, alright? Like, I have another bracer that I think has higher volt attack. But like... Yeah, I mean, I think this one right here has higher volt attack, but not by much, guys. It's not by much. The reason why I'm using these bracers right here is because it has volt resistance, which is good against Eva. Um, this armor, again, not even a thousand. This is eight hundred, over eight hundred volt attack. All right, again, you want a thousand. This belt, not even like it. It's um, it's it's not good, right? It's only seven hundred volt attack. These pants that I have here, again. Also, like, it, I think these pants are like the highest piece of volt attack that I have of like Asperia gear, but it's not even 900 volt attack, not even. And then these boots, I mean, it's okay because it's 3500 crit, a little bit more than my um my gloves. But as you see here, my equipment sucks. Like, it genuinely does suck. From from a person playing a game since like day three. And my equipment, and I have so low attack because I don't really up, I don't really farm joint operations because I should be farming joint operations because my equipment suck. But the reason why I don't farm joint operations is that the rates for equipment for five star equipment is terrible. This is one of, uh, one of my major complaints about this game, at least the global version. All right, I complimented the Matrix drops. All right, I complimented that. Now I'm gonna absolutely flame this game because. This game is so, I should say not this game, but global is so, I can't swear, it's so terrible because 
in global not global in cn when you do joint operation difficulty like three um the term that people in this games uh use is jo um 11 because the normal jo's go from one to eight and then we say that um for these like second wave of joint operation that we say this is J jo 9 10 11 12 so we're at jo 12 right now in cn jo 12 every chest guarantee drops a five star equipment piece like a golden equipment piece i think it's i think right i believe that it's 100 percent drop rate under the, um, the chip the joint operation chip the joint operation chip is at this right um but like in global it's not 100 percent even on the third chest the third chest of jo12 is not even 100 percent chance of getting a golden equipment drop which in my opinion is so, it just, it makes me so upset because CN gets it, but Global doesn't get it. And guess what? They actually buffed, I'm pretty sure they buffed um, equipment drop rates in JO from, um, I think it was 2.4. I think they upgraded the uh, drop rates, but like, why? Why in CN do they have it at 100% drop rate? And then they can't, they can't um, have that for Global. Like, like, why do they hate us? Like, I'm genuinely, like, asking, why do the game developers hate global players? Because that just makes equipment hard to farm. And yes, I know, like, people who've been farming from day one, you know, they probably have max equipment. They probably have, like, really good equipment. But, like, I don't know, dude. That's just not it. That's just, I don't know. That's one of my major complaints about this game. Like, and I think it's a really major complaint. Is that they're making the game harder to, like, farm right imagine if genshin impact i don't know like the chinese game right imagine genshin impact if like because genshin impact like the um and similarly it has like a an artifact what it's called artifact in that game there's like an artifact drop um imagine if you do if you play genshin impact and like you do the equipment and you do the artifact farming and when you use a condensed resin there wasn't a 100 percent chance of getting um an artifact in a run <laughs> imagine spending like 20 resin and not getting a golden artifact piece <laughs> imagine spending 40 and not even getting it because there's plenty of times where i open the last chest twice and i don't get it um like it's possible to be that unlucky it's just terrible um, and so because of that, I don't farm for equipment because I just can't farm for equipment if it's not 100%. I'm saving like, I'm saving all my chips. I have 333 apparently. I'm saving all my chips and I don't want to farm equipment because like, what's the point of farming equipment if it's not like 100% drop rate? Like I'm not going to roll the dice. All right. I want it. I want it to be 100% drop rate before I roll. Um, and so yeah, this whole time I've just been farming um, weapon uh, weapon upgrade mats, um, specifically like the nano coating, the nano fiber, the acid proof, um, and then all that stuff, right? Yeah, all this stuff. Acid proof, yeah, acid proof glaze and booster frames, right? I've just been farming, um, and as you see here, my weapons are all level twenty. I reckon that not a lot of people in this game have um every weapon maxed out or every ssr maxed out um it's a lot easier for me because i don't roll for that many ssrs like since this game's release 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there has been 15 ssrs and i've only rolled for three of them so i don't really need to upgrade that much um and yeah, I've, that's what I've been doing. And like I said, I have all my weapons 180. And like, I have so much extra weapon mats. Like, as you see here, I have enough weapon mats that if level like 105, like right now we're le at level um, 90. If five more, if like five more, I shouldn't say five, if three more upgrade, like I can upgrade my weapons. I can probably ascend my weapons like three more times. Um, or like, uh, increase their, increase their like max level, 
five times, so or three times, times three. So like if one if level one o five releases right now in global, I'll have enough web. I pretty sure I have enough weapon mass to upgrade my main weapons to like level, what would it be two ten, um. So yeah, I have a bunch of extra. I have a bunch of extra weapon mats, and actually, I actually don't. So yeah, these weapon mats are saved. So I have a bunch of weapon mats saved that if level or when level ninety five drops, um, I'll be able to upgrade like my main weapons, and I'll also be able to upgrade some weapons that I use in um, sequential bygone. Like I'll be able to upgrade like Shiro, um, Coco, Meryl, you know, King stuff like that. So that's why I have a bunch of extra stuff. Um, but actually, um, I actually do. I actually do not have enough um, equipment because like Fiona is gonna come a bit sooner than I thought. So I do need to um, get a little bit more mats. So yeah, let's spend some mats right now. But anyways, yeah, that's what I've been doing with my vitality. So until um, equipment drop is one hundred percent in global, in my opinion. It just feels bad farm. I do farm, like I do farm. Sometimes I do farm like jump drone operations. Um, but if, but like to be honest, out of all, I don't know if like you can get this information, but of all the vitality that I spent in this game, like if you added all the vitality that I spent in this game, if you add them all together, the amount of vitality that I spent doing dimensional trials. Specifically, the amount of vitality I spent during Dimensional Trials weapon drill. All that vitality is probably like double the amount of vitality that I spent doing Matrix drill and joint operations and uh, interstellar exploration. Um, I mean, w w what does that really mean? I, I mean that like for every like thirty. Vitality that I spent on joint operation, I probably spent 60 vitality on dimensional trial weapon drill. Like I don't know if I can find that statistic, but yeah, most of my vitality is dumped into dimensional trials. So, like I would say about 66% of my vitality that I've ever spent in this game has been in um, dimensional trial weapon drills. Um, it's a lot. I mean, I, I mean, obviously you can see here that if if all my S are level 180, and I have a bunch of what. Uh, wep uh, weapon mats left that that would be the case right um but yeah anyways so Fiona is gonna be released which means right now I'm looking at my notes because I do have <laughs> I do have tower fantasy notes and um I'm actually need yeah the amount of weapon mats that I have is decent but I do need eight extra so again, I have these set out for like if when level 95 comes out, I'll be able to upgrade a bunch of weapons to, um, you know, that level, to level 190. But um, I do need a few Fiona mats. So I also have 50 of each of these on standby and 50 of each of these on standby and 50 of each of these on standby. Um, actually, technically you don't need 50 of these on standby. You only need like eight of these on standby um, to upgrade a weapon from level one to max. Um, but yeah, I do need a bunch. So let's see. I need eight. I need eight more of the extra drops or the extra mats. So twenty of these would equal four, five, four, four of them. Right. So it feels one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, technically I can do. Uh, yeah, five. I can technically do five. So I only need three more of these. Um, well, let's just go for... I need 20... Well, let's just do the math. Because I need... Um, times eight. So I need 22 reds. I need 22 reds. My maintaining 50 and 50, I guess. So 22 more reds. I need eight reds. Eight reds times five is 40. 40 times um 40 times 4 is 160 so we need to spend 160 of these um probably only need like 150 because i have a bunch of extra all right so then we fuse these we fuse them until we have 50 left so about you know something like that 
And then we fuse these until we have 50 left. So about something like that. Nine. Okay, so one extra. My bad. All right. So also we need greens. Okay, well, I already crafted a few. So we need 34 plus 8. 34 is what I would normally need. Plus 8, which is for Fiona. Um, also, actually, I should do 4 more. I should do 12. Just because if um, level 95 comes out, then I would need to upgrade Fiona anyways. This is the way I think, by the way. Like, if you're wondering, like, what the heck am I talking about? It's just, this is the way I think when I upgrade weapons. <laughs> I technically need 3 more of these. Um, cause of Fiona, because again, if Fiona, if I have Fiona right now and level 190 drops or 195 drops tomorrow, I'll need to be able to upgrade it. So I technically need like what, three more? Um, yeah, I need three more. So three means 60. All right. 60 of these. Cause each one of those tier three max is 20 of the normal ones. Um, so 60 will equal 3 of the tier 3 mats. Um, right, these are tier 1 mats, these are tier 2 mats, and these are your tier 3 mats, right? Uh, not use. So, yeah. By the way, this is how I'm going to end the video. Basically, I'm just like flexing my weapon mats. Um, because, I mean, this is how I play the game. So, like, I think, it would, I think it's fun to show, like, yeah, this is what I do. All right, now we fuse these. One, two, three. All righty, twenty-six of those. Very nice. Now I need, I need forty. I need forty. I'll just say what I need total. I need forty-six total. Forty-six total of the green ones, which means I need six more. Six more, which is one twenty of these. So one twenty greens. Boom. All right. Now we fuse these. Let's just do this. Um, 80, 35. So, all right, that's 50. All right, now we fuse these. Um, I can actually do seven. All right. Am I over or under? I'm actually under, am I? Because I said I needed... 24, 26. I'm actually under, huh? I miscalculated. All right, well, 20, 20 more of these. All right, so then we're gonna fuse these one, two, three, four, five, and then we fuse one of these. All right, now for um, white, I need 36. Need 36 white. 36 white. I can fuse one right now. 10 is fine. 36, which means I need 13. 13 times 20. 13 times 20 is 260. I think. 260. Um, hmm. I'm actually pretty low on mass, huh? <laughs> All right, well, we'll spend them. 260. Two sixty. Bam. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually low on blues. I'm actually low on weapon mass. I can't believe it. I'm low on weapon mass. Um, how much am I saving? Am I just spending all of them? Well, I don't need to spend that many. All right, now I have a bunch of these. Let's just go 65 of them, spend 65 of them. All right, perfect amount of whites. Now let's just burn them all in blue. Am I gonna count? Nope, no counting, just spending. Now we're going to fuse until, and then now I'm gonna go to 40, like a 40, 44 left, sure, all right. And now we're just gonna see how much we can get from this. We want to spend 60. 32, huh? 32, I technically have enough. Okay, so 32, hmm. I need four more, I think, cause I need 36. Four more, 
All right, let's let's open these bad boys up. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four. All right. Now we fuse these. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, if Fiona gets dropped tomorrow, if Fiona gets dropped tomorrow and level one ninety five, I'm sorry, of uh, level ninety five drops tomorrow. 95 jobs tomorrow then I will be able to upgrade Fiona weapon max I should be up able to upgrade all three of these weapons max and then I should be able to upgrade 30 more weapons max so probably these weapons yeah Huma, Subasa, and Crow will not be max but everything else from Zero, King, um, Coco um, and then all these other weapons and Fiona will be max. All right So I mean that's that's it. Yeah, I mean videos honestly this video has been It's pretty long for no reason, but hey, I mean that's I just wanted to talk about how I spent vitality in this video I mean, I mean I would totally love to spend it on equipment because as you see my equipment sucks But like at this point it's like well, it's not 100% drop rate So I refuse to um, refuse to uh, do equipment we refuse to do joint draw operations honestly um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Next time, um, when we get closer to Fiona release date, I'll talk, one video, I'll talk about the whole Mira and Old Vera coins. And, um, and then right before Fiona's, or like when that Fiona um, uh, rolling video comes out, I will spend... I will spend a bunch of Mira, I will spend a bunch of old Vera coins, and I will buy the rest of these weapons and max them out. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Preparing for Fiona, where I'll talk about, um, talk about, um, Fun Zone. Talk about Fun Zone. I've, yep, as you see, I'm, I'm constantly doing it, so yeah, thanks for watching.